I'm going to preach a message tonight that has angered many, many churchmen. It seems we would rather hold on to a false hope than to hear the truth. I hear people all over the world, and especially in this country, tell me that they're saved. And I ask them, how do they know that they're saved? Well, because they believe. How do you know that you believe? Well, I know in my heart of hearts that I am saved. The Bible says that the heart is deceitfully wicked. Do you really want to trust a heart that can be wicked? Examine yourself. Take the Word of God and what the Word of God says about a true Christian. And if you fall short of the test, repent. One of the greatest evidences a person is truly a child of God is that they will be sensitive to the sin in their life. And they will be led to repentance and confession of that sin. If you don't have a new relationship with sin, you don't have a new relationship with God. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you wept over your sin? We're not talking about whether or not you need to rededicate your life. We're talking about whether or not you need to get saved. Do you tremble at His Word or do you look for loopholes around it? Here stands God on the day of creation. He looks at stars and He says, All you stars, move yourself to this place and start in this order and move in a circle and move exactly as I tell you until I give you another word. And they all obey Him. Planets, pick yourself up and whirl. Make this formation at my command until I give you another word. He looks at mountains and He says, Be lifted up and they obey Him. He tells valleys, Be cast down and they obey Him. He looks at the sea and says, You will come this far and the sea obeys. And then He looks at you and says, Come and you go, No. Does anybody have a problem with that? The greatest evidence that you're a Christian is the fact that right now you're in the Word and God's pointing out to you your sin. We have assurance that we have come to know Him not just because one time we repented, but we are continuing to repent today. And it is not just that at one time we believed, but that we are continuing to believe today. And it is not just at one time we walked with Him, we continue to walk with Him today. One of the signs of a Christian is that they are not entrapped or enslaved to the things of this present evil age, but they are set free to see Christ in His glory and follow Him and follow hard after Him. How do you know that you believe? 